styling video with all my new purchases from yeah. Cezanne. Lots of outfit ideas, so I hope plenty of inspiration for you for this fall season. You are here for the outfits, let's jump into the styling part. For my first outfit, I'm wearing the Felix jumper in London Bouquet. It's made in organic cotton and it's really soft. It's the perfect base to style with my new Tanya skirt in quilted velvet, in this gorgeous shade of brown. It's a rich, warm tone, really beautiful and perfect for fall. Here, I'm layering my new half jacket in Czech print. It's a cool brown base with burgundy lines. I just love this jacket. This pair of Calcedonia tights in the same color as my skirt creates a seamless look, avoiding any harsh lines in the overall look. I think it's so chic and elegant. For shoes, I opted for the Paola Babis in nude patent leather that picks up the colors of my top. To finish it up, I chose my Milo bag in smooth sand to kind of give it a little contrast. And this is the ultimate Parisian style look. It's a refined, fresh look that will make you look younger. Next up, we have an outfit with a 70s vibe given by the flower pattern of the Felix jumper, but also by the slightly flared denim jeans in a dark wash. I'm adding a large belt in camel suede and antique silver big buckle, and I think it looks really good. The front patch pockets of the Dan trousers together with all the details in the outfit makes this a Jane Birkin's look. For warmth, I'm wearing the Basil cardigan in burgundy. It matches perfectly the darkest flowers of the Felix jumper that has these beautiful small pearl buttons. You can wear your cardigan opened or tuck it slightly in the belt to simulate the French tuck. For shoes, I opted for the Katie Babies in Camel Suede. Let's brighten up the grey autumn days with this beautiful knitting of the Lina jumper in Ecru. It has this button placket at the front that embellishes the jumper and at the same time is so versatile as you can open as many buttons as you want. Instead of tuck your jumper at the front, as usually, tuck it diagonally. It's also very stylish and also different. On the bottom part, I'm wearing the Giorgio trousers in for shoes the Katie Babies. But if I need to leave the house, I just throw a wool long coat on top. I opted for this camel shade to match the color of my shoes. This is a way to dress down your satin trousers, making a casual yet chic outfit, perfect for a lunch with the friends or a meal with the family on a Sunday lunch. You will be elegant and comfortable at the same time. I'm starting with this thin layer with this coarse merino wool top that is perfect to wear under my Michel jacket. And I'm doing a sweet look here with the matching Teofield trousers. For footwear, I'm wearing a pair of Ecru ankle boots. You 
You can button up the jacket and it also looks great. I love this two-piece set. I feel confident and elegant. Next up we have the Harper dress in soft merino wool and its gorgeous crochet buttons all along the front. I'm layering this neat vest on top to change the overall look of the dress and show how versatile this dress can be. A belt is a good idea to tuck your top part. With a neat vest on top, it seems like we're wearing a skirt and a top This is a fun, joyful outfit, and if you are like me and love to wear mini skirts, the Gillies are the perfect ones to add to your wardrobe. Here I'm wearing the fuchsia check print version, made in 100% wool and lined, so no itchy. These patch pockets and removable belt are beautiful details that elevate this garment. On top, I'm wearing a cashmere soft sweater in this grey color that picks up the light grey of the skirt print. I opted for a pair of burgundy tights almost the same color of my new Paola Babits. These will have the effect of elongating my legs. And this is another version of the Gillies skirt. So, this one is also made in 100% wool and it's in this mottled charcoal grey. I kept the same jumper, the same opaque tights and Mary Janes. The Ralph jacket looks amazing with this outfit as the brown base color is a cool shade, almost grayish, and the check lines in burgundy ties everything together. This next outfit might not be everybody's cup of tea, but fashion is to play and be fun. So I wanted to try this new trend of wearing socks with Mary Janes. I may say I might not be wearing this outfit for a more formal occasion, but this is a cool modern look that I kind of like it. And the basil cardigan is the perfect layer to add warmth. Last, but by no means least, another outfit with the Dan trousers. You're seeing a belt that is no longer available, but I think it looks really well here. The pearls on the buckle match the beautiful white shirt. And this is the rim shirt and it's a piece of art. The lace trims on the body of the shirt, sleeves and cuffs elevate this white shirt to the next level. It has these large cuffs with small buttons Oh, just so pretty. I'm in love. And what's best, you don't have to unbutton the cuffs to put on the shirt as the hands fit perfectly. The collar has this little ruffle that subtly reveals itself through the collar of my jumpers. I love this detail. Again, the Ralph jacket.
My watch is from Lola Rose, a London-based brand. And, as you can see, all these pieces are interchangeable. It's a true capsule wardrobe for the fall slash autumn. That's all I have for you today. I hope you did find some good inspiration in today's video. I hope this video could help you in any way to create your daily outfit. If you did enjoy today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.